It's been said in the press that I was invited to speak to the transgender employees at Netflix, and I refuse. That is not true. If they had invited me, I would have accepted it, although I am confused about what we are speaking about. I said what I said, and boy, I heard what you said. Dave Chappelle is addressing the backlash he's gotten over his Netflix stand-up special, The Closer, and the place that he knows best on stage. So transgender employees at Netflix staged a walkout over the fact that the streaming service was carrying the special that they see as transphobic. I want everyone in this audience to know that it, even though the media frames this, that it's me versus that community, that is not what it is. Do not blame the LBGTQ community for any of this shit. This has nothing to do with them. It's about corporate interests and what I can say and what I cannot say. For the record, and I need you to know this, everyone I know from that community has been nothing but loving and supporting. So I don't know what all this nonsense is about. So Dave says that all this nonsense and controversy has led the streaming services and studios backing away from the documentary that he made last year about the outdoor space that he created in Ohio that allowed comedians to still perform for a small socially distanced audience. So Dave is ready to have an open dialogue with the transgender community. To the transgender community, I am more than willing to give you an audience, but you will not summon me. I am not bending to anybody's demands. And if you want to meet with me, I'd be more than willing to, but I have some conditions. <laughs> First of all, you cannot come if you have not watched my special from beginning to end. You must come to a place of my choosing and a time of my choosing. And thirdly, you must admit that Hannah Gatsby is not funny. All right, so I do think that Hannah Gatsby comment is purely a joke. I know Hannah Gatsby is trending right now, but no, I think it was purely a joke. And I think it was actually Dave acknowledging that he was trying to create his own Nanette in The Closer. And the fact he was trying to create an art piece that people had to watch from beginning to end to really get the full impact of and not break it down into little sound bites. And I know I said that in my critique and a lot of people, a lot of the comments were like, why are you trying to cancel Dave? I actually wasn't trying to cancel Dave at all in that and I was actually well, it was kind of on Dave's side throughout that so if you haven't watched that segment yet here it is up here so I don't even think people watched the entire five minutes six minutes segment I did on that so good luck trying to get people to watch the whole closure that's like over an hour long but no so I do think Dave was really trying to achieve something with the closure in that he presented all these transphobic jokes throughout the special and people were laughing 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 and then at the end it does an about face and Dave tells you the life lesson that he learned from a transgender person. So I think what Dave was trying to do is here's all these transphobic jokes that you're gonna laugh at and then, oh, I'm gonna to try to change your perspective on things. And like I said, my hope would be that someone that was laughing at those transphobic jokes now changes their perspective at the end of the closer. So I think that's what Dave was trying to achieve. Once again, I'll say, I don't think he was as successful as Nanette, but it was a valid attempt. I do think people need to watch the closer from beginning to end and come to their own conclusion. Yes, Dave Chappelle tells a bunch of transphobic jokes in that special, but at the end, he puts a different perspective on it. So can't wait to hear more of your thoughts on this.